Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sitting here with a pale face, self tanner on the rest of the body. So basically I'm doing a video, I'm testing out three new Clarence products that I have to try. So we have the Instant Poreless Pore Blurring Mattifying Primer. That's why I have no foundation on. Then we have the Glow To Go Duo Blush and Highlighter Duo Stick. And then I have the new Wonder Perfect Mascara in 4D. So the regular one was just called the Wonder Perfect. This one is the 4D. So without further ado, Let's get into the video. First, I'm starting out with the Instant Poreless Mattifying Primer. So this is supposed to visibly minimize pores. It's supposed to give you a matte finish, improves your makeup hold, it gives you a blurring effect, lets skin breathe, and can also be applied as a touch-up. Kind of small, it's a 20 mil. Most primers are about a 30, so it's a little bit smaller than the regular primer. What I like about this primer, most mattifying primers are like that um, Benefit Professional, which has that more of a chalky mattifying feeling. This one doesn't have that. It comes out more like a regular cream and it dries down to like a really silk finish. So um, I think, I think I'm gonna like this because to be honest with you, I don't love the Benefit um, Professional because I find it pills on me. So before this video, I did do all my serums, face creams, been breaking out on my chin. I've done it all, so let's see if this works. Taking a pea size amount. I have pores more in the middle of my face, so basically I'm just gonna work this into my T-zone because the rest of my face is pretty normal. I don't know why I've been breaking out lately. It's driving me crazy. And no, I am not with child. So I'm noticing it's not pilling, which is great. There's no balling, weird balling on me at all. Um, it is mattifying and it is super silky. I can even tell like around the nose area that I have less shine. So it definitely takes away the shine for sure, 100%. And my little holes in my face, they do look blurred. So let's just, I'm going to put a little bit more. Okay, so let's even out my complexion to match my neck. I'm going to go in with the Tinty Doe Ultra Wear. This is the Lancome Foundation in the shade 220. So we're going to go in and put the foundation over top of our blurring primer. Foundation, I love, but it's super strange. Because when you pump it out, it's really light. And then when you blend it, it uh, changes color. So be careful when buying the Lancome Foundation. Just make sure... In the store, you blend it on your hand because I find it does change. Okay, for concealer, I'm gonna go on with the Chanel. This is the Le Corrector de Chanel Concealer in 30 Beige. So I can tell you this primer is fabulous. My nose, the little pores, I have pores all over my nose. It's been a thing I've had for years. They are totally filled in. Let me just show you. There's no holes on my nose. They are completely filled in. So far, so good. 20 mil, I don't care. I'm not using it on my whole face anyways, just in the middle of my face, so that's fine. Before I do any sort of setting, I'm gonna try their new, this is their Glow To Go little double-ended blush and highlighting duo. You can use this on your lips as well. And I think I'm gonna try it on my eyes. I hope that's okay. I don't really know. We'll find out. Supposed to illuminate healthy glow effect comfort cream texture. So they have another one of these. This is number two. They also have number one. Number one is more pink, and then the highlighter shade is really um it's like a blue purplish kind of tone. What the stick looks like. Okay, so I don't know if this is gonna be a mistake, but I'm gonna try to use the cream bronze shade all over the face, like as a bronzer. And I know it's gonna be glowy, so this is not for everybody. If you don't like a glowy, illuminated, dewy look, you probably won't like this, but I'm gonna try to use it that way just to see what happens. So I'm gonna take a Real Techniques. This is the Expert Face Brush. I'm taking this guy. I'm not just gonna color it on the face, so I'm gonna work it into my little brush here and see what happens. I'm gonna apply it like I would apply a bronzer. So I'm gonna go on the cheeks like this. I lied. I don't know if the finger might be better to apply it. finger is probably the best way to apply the product. Just make sure you don't have any powder now first because it's going to definitely probably lift the product. I wouldn't put this over top of a powder. 
And then like for underneath here to clean up, I'm just gonna take my sponge that we had the foundation on. I'm not adding any more. I'm gonna run it underneath. I don't think I'd recommend this for a fair skin tone. Um, I think it could look a little bit ashy and muddy on you. I think you definitely need some color. I think on a dark, darker skin tone, this stick would be unbelievable. Um, this would be a beautiful highlight on a deeper skin tone. The same with the blush would be just like spectacular. So I think this stick would be better for more of a deeper complexion. If you have a lighter complexion, you might want to go with the lighter stick, but I can definitely make it work. I think that you have to be careful though if you just apply it the way I did because it could look a little bit muddy. So you have to really take the time to blend it and then go back over it with the foundation. So I'm gonna take the other side of the stick, which is the peach side. I'm gonna use my fingers and I'm gonna go in and apply it as blush. It's a flush of color, it's not too pigmented. With the cream product, I would start very minimal and then start building it because it's very hard to take it away. So take a little bit and then start to build it. I'm gonna take some Hourglass Translucent Powder and I'm just gonna push it on a fluffy brush. This is a Real Technique setting brush. I'm just gonna push it on my eyes, underneath the eye, and I'm gonna set the concealer on my eyes with it as well. I'm going for more of a glowy look today, so I'm gonna avoid overly powdering the face. It's, um, if you really want to have like a luminous, dewy skin, I would skip a hardcore setting powder. Just go in really lightly with something and just dust it to set. Taking it also a tiny bit just down the T-zone, because that's where I tend to get oily. But I'm not gonna lie, this primer I've used is just blowing my mind. I have no pores on my face. Like, especially, I have no pores in, on my nose. That's huge for me. So I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave the rest of my face not powder, just because I feel like, just, I like I'm liking it, you know? I have cream product on my face. I still want more, a little bit more of a highlight. I'm gonna go in with this Kiko Radiant Touch Creamy Highlighting Stick. Um, this is the shade 100. So we're gonna take some of that. I like to apply it first on the back of my hand, pick it up with my finger, and then just work it on my cheekbones. So for my eyeshadow, I'm actually gonna test out this little guy as well. I just think that having a multi-use stick, like something like this, is really handy for some people. People that don't like to wear a lot of makeup, that just kinda want a product that's a triple effect, eyes, lips, face. Or someone that's on, this is a great product for someone who's on vacation, who just needs to kinda just bring one little item and use it everywhere. So I don't really even know if this is made for the eyes, but going in anyways. This is a NYX number 16 brush. It's more of like a crease blending brush. Going in with the copper shade first, and I'm just gonna buff that into the crease. It's gonna be very, very, very simple. So as we can see, it's just giving me some definition, some warmth. Blending out really nice, seamless, and it's not too um, ashy. It actually looks pretty warm when buffing it onto the eyelids. And then I'm also gonna buff it underneath my lower lash line. I'm using this little Anastasia brush that comes in one of her palettes. So I'm actually gonna flip over the blush stick, use the peach side, keeping the peach color on the lower lid, and I'm gonna keep it on the towards the start halfway and just bring it to the edge. Finger is probably your best solution for this. I'm also taking the fluffy brush we used in the crease and I'm just gonna go, I'm not adding any more product, but I'm just gonna kind of buff it back and forth just to make sure that both colors are just blended out seamlessly. And then since we've used this already, let's go back in with the Kiko. And I'm just gonna keep this in the corner of my eye. I'm just gonna take a little small detailing brush just so I can get right in the corners, the tear ducts. So I have the Clarins, this is the new Wonder Perfect 4D Mascara. It's supposed to give you volume, length, curl, and definition. So I was gonna curl the eyelashes, but I'm skipping the eyelash curler just because since it says it gives you some curl, I wanna see how much curl. It wasn't messy, I got a tiny smudge up top, but nothing horrific or anything like that. 
I would say that it is giving my lash a curl, but I would suggest that if you do like to use a curler, I would go in with a curler just because I feel like I would even like it more if it was curled. Do you know what I'm saying? So we're going to go in. I'm not even re-dipping the product because I just feel like it's enough. there's enough product on the brush to begin with. So I'm going to go in one more time for a second coat. So that's one eyelash and I'm really liking it. It does, it's not like, a brush like this doesn't super separate your eyelashes. So it does have a little bit of clumping happening, but it's not like super spidery clumpy. Um, but I, I sort of like that look, you know, I like that like full in your face eyelash look. So let's do the other side. Okay, so just to kind of finish off the eye look, I'm gonna go in with my Benefit. This is the Eye Bright Pencil. And I'm gonna use a little bit of this in my waterline. This will just kind of help make my eyes look super awake. Okay, to finish off my super kind of easy look today, we're gonna go in with the Rimmel. This is the Exaggerate Full Lip Color in the color East End Snob. I'm gonna do a light outline of my lips. I'm gonna go back in with the highlighting stick again, go in with the peach color on my finger, and just tap it on the lip. If you had a darker complexion, the brown would look super nice too. It would just give you almost like a glossy look. Be the end of my review testing out some new Clarence products and I'm gonna tell you something I'm highly impressed first of all I'm highly impressed by this this is incredible like unbelievable instant poreless pore blurring mattifying primer if you have pores on your nose on your face I'm telling you pick this up pick it up this is the only kind of pore filling product that I've tried that doesn't roll on my skin it just honestly fills in my nose actually like it looks seamless and it did mattify me straight away and I do look airbrush especially in my t-zone of where I put it so I'm giving this a 10 out of 10 right now I'm gonna wear it throughout the day but I'm really really highly enjoying now, this kind of thing right here I think it's good but it's not something that I personally wear all the time because I'm a heavy makeup wearer and products like this I find actually take more time for me to apply but I think if you don't wear a lot of makeup, if you're going to go traveling, if you're going on vacation, I think it's a great multi-purpose kind of stick that gives you bronze, some blush, like my skin looks radiant, it looks super healthy and dewy. I think it does a great job at just making you look super flawless. Um, and even as an eyeshadow, it looks nice. It looks very soft, it looks subtle. And on the lips, it's very comfortable, it's not drying. And it's just a great multi-purpose kind of stick. To be honest with you, I don't even know if you're supposed to use it on your eyes, but... I did. I'm already blind, so hopefully, hopefully you can. I don't know. And then this mascara, I'm going to say, I definitely highly like it. It gives you full lashes. It definitely curls. Not like an extreme curl, but it does give you curl. It gives you volume. It gives you definition. It can get a little clumpy if you try to build upon it. So I think like two coats work fast with it. It dries down, so it does not stay wet, which I love. I can't I hate a mascara that's wet. It's fully, fully dry. And the best part about this mascara is my lashes don't feel um, hard and crunchy. They actually just feel like beautiful eyelashes. So yeah, I'm really liking it. I'm gonna wear it throughout the day. I'll let you know if I have any problems on underneath my eye, but so far so good. I really like the way my lashes look. I like the way they feel. So I'm definitely liking this as well. Okay, so this will be the end of my review. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, as always, please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.